Good morning, cat. Yes, good morning. Good morning, butternut. It's very windy. We had a big storm, as you can see. The chair's been thrown around. There's this metal bit that's come down. I'm eating an apple. And it's just been really stormy. The dahlias that were standing up yesterday have been blown over. And I found out there's another button up there. So that's kind of useful. He was kind of hiding out. But I'll have to stand up the dahlias a little bit later. I'm going out now. So those poor little things are just going to have to wait a minute. It's, um, it's overcast today. Very, very overcast, which is... Oh, look! Even that door has been ripped off a hinge. Wow. Yeah, the storm was pretty intense. I'm really lucky that the shade cloth is still around. It did get ripped off a little bit, but it's still here. So that's pretty great. The little Bailey. Hello, little Bailey. Hello, my little pretty. She's a pretty cat. So Bailey loves this chair. She shares her time between this chair and that blanket over there. It's pretty cute. I heard a squeak from a smudgy. Emma's chilling. And the canvas is fading. So it lasts for about a week, I'd say, and then it fades. And I'm not sure if it'll lure another flower. We'll see. And there's a smudge coming along. I love smudge much. And great news, I finally staked the chilies over there. So look at that beautiful bamboo stake. Really professional work. These guys, not so happy. I don't think they want to be in the pots. Uh, this guy's doing okay, but not like really happy either. <laughs> I think the plants prefer to be in the ground. And let's look at some that actually are in the ground. Like, for example, gem squash. Look at the gem squash. Very happy little plants in the ground. And there's another little one coming up there. So these look like they are going to be putting quite a few little fruits out. There's another one. Oh, look at that little guy. So cute. Yeah, there's quite a few coming up. There's another one over there. Yeah, I'm not sure how many that is already. Maybe six. They're so cute. They look wonderful. What's happening today? Emma's happy. Dave is happy. And this guy is delivering all of the chopped wood. Look. This is beautiful chopped wood. And basically, I'm going to get six of these cubic um, meters. And they're going to be piled over here. And then this is going to be moved, maybe with this, maybe by hand under this little roof shelter thing there and he has to do this all by himself because that is the policy of their company this is all very exciting so because there's been a wood shortage or challenges getting chopped wood um, this wood is a bit more expensive than last year not that i got wood last year i've just been obviously talking to people That's one way to get it down. And they look pretty full to me, so this is a good, a good cubic. And we could have ordered by ton, but apparently ton is a little bit less than cubic, depending on how dry the wood is. But cubic is always a cubic, and ton might be less, depending if it's fresh wood or if it's been rained on. And this should all be oak wood, seasoned oak wood, apparently. It looks pretty dry to me, so that's pretty good. And it's chopped just the perfect size as well. So all in all, this looks really great. And if we look closer later, we can see there's some green, green stamps on the wood, which shows that it has been approved to be harvested from the forest. He's only empty too, and this seems like a lot of wood. This is really a lot of wood, oh my gosh. But I guess it's going to burn quickly, so let's step 
definitely necessary. And even if I don't use it all, I can save it for next year. So better too much than too little is the way to go when you order wood for sure. But this is a lot. This is great. I'm excited. This is an insane amount of wood. Um, I actually didn't expect it to be this much. I don't know why, because obviously I've seen Melly's wood, I've seen Frinda's wood, and we're, in, we're about halfway through, <laughs> because I'm still getting those two and another one. So he's only emptied these three. This is three cubic over here. And here comes, so now we're a little bit over halfway. Wow, this is really incredible. So this is four cubic. This is four cubic of oak wood, dry, seasoned, looked amazing. And I'm still getting this one and one more from the other side. The van holds 10, 10 cubics in total. Okay, so there you can see that there is the green mark. The green stamps means it's approved wood that was allowed to be taken, harvested from the forest. And that's a good sign. I love the setup. I love how they measured and cubics and built the van. Yeah, pretty great. This is the last cubic. This is five cubics. So, all done. Okay, so bye bye wood. We're driving, bye bye Emma. We're delivering the last little bit of wood to Jess and Joe on our way. Emma is inspecting the wood. It's so cute. Okay, we're here. Right next to the sawdust. Oak sawdust. Meat. Chopped oak. Your younger variation. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Here we are doing the last uh, Chetri cubics. And I think this is the perfect spot to carry it through the gate later. last bits. Finished, finished. What a big job. Dum, 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 dum. Look at all that chopped wood. Amazing. Looks great. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. The button should be there, there, somewhere over here.